Okay, so I'm going to show you real quickly how you can use your local video editor to trim and make edits on your Google Meet recordings. So first you're going to, after you've finished recording a session in Google Meet, you're going to go into your Meet recordings file and you're going to download one of the recordings. So this is my most recent recording. I'm going to right click on it. It's going to give me the option down here to download. It's going to say can't scan for viruses. You're going to go ahead and say download anyway, and it's going to download that file. Now, depending on the size of the file, it might take a minute uh, if it's a quick tutorial, but if it's an hour long class, it might take a couple minutes for it to download. So then you're going to go down here and you're going to search for video editor. Depending on what version of Windows you have on your computer, if you have an older version of Windows, it might say Video Maker or it's going to say Video Editor. So I'm going to open up this Video Editor. You're going to notice that it has video projects and you're going to see different video projects and I've done a couple of them. You're going to click to make a new video project. You're going to hit that plus button. When you do that, it's going to take you into this Streamline Video Editor tool. So notice this is my project library is empty. So I'm going to have to tell it what video file I want to edit. So I'm going to go to that add button. First, I want to give it a name and I'm going to call this one. This is my demo edit. So I'm going to click on the add button. You can use this for photos. You can use this for videos, but our purpose today is we're going to just trim um, and edit a Google Meet recording. So I'm going to say from this PC and notice I have my downloads and it's going to have my most recent download. So here's the one that I've downloaded and then I can drag this to my timeline. I might only want to do the begin beginning or end of the clip. So I can go down here. I can add a title card so I can name this and say this is Miss Hall's class. So I could go in here. I can very simple. I can have a classic tech. I'm going to type my title up here. I'm going to say tech tips 411. When I do that, notice I have a couple of options. I can add in different cool looks for it. Again, this is not required. I can choose how long this is on there. Default is three seconds. I'm going to click done. Okay. So now I've got my little title card. Now I want to go to my video and I want to edit this. So I'm ready to make an edit to this video clip. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to trim. By clicking on trim, notice that I can move this up and down. I can drag this in. So say for instance, you have a, you recorded a lesson and you forgot to turn off the recording and students started talking at the end and asking questions and you don't want that in your recording that you share with your class. You could just pull this in and shave off that last couple of seconds that's at the end of that recording. So I can click done and it's cropped that. Additionally, maybe I want to split this clip. I can go to split and I'm going to choose my marker and halfway through, I've got a part where I want to edit it. I can choose to split and it's going to, as you can see, now I've got two separate clips. I can go in and add some other effects and filters and the speed feature is great as if you wanted to show, if you wanted something to go really fast or really slow, you can adjust it. You can also go here. Uh, removing the black bars, shrink to fit. That's just on the size of your video. If you shot, this is if you were uploading a video that you shot on your phone and inadvertently it's in the wrong direction, you can rotate a video as well. The three more, this is to remove all. We don't want to do that. The trash can lets me delete elements. Um, I can go in and add custom audio if I want. But once I've got it exactly the way that I want, I've got a title card, I could do an exit card, whatever you want. I can go in here and say, finish video. By default, it's going to do it in 1080p. You don't need it to be in high def. You can actually, I would kind of go with the medium 720p and I'm going to choose to export it. It's going to ask me, where do I want that video to go? It's going to save it as an MP4 file so I can choose where that goes. So if I want to save it on my desktop, I can save it on my desktop. If I want to save it in documents or downloads, I can do that. So I'm going to save this and just like that, it's going to export it. You're going to see it takes a little bit of time depending on the length of your video and it's going to export it. This is a very easy to use video editor available on your Windows PC so you can edit and trim those videos you record in your Google Meet.